I'm Nehemiah at St. Danger. I want to talk to you about my record. Hi, I'm Nehemiah at St. Danger. And I'd like to talk to you about my record. It's actually crap. Hi, I'm Nehemiah at St. Danger. I'd like to talk to you about my record. The slow and painful birth of Nehemiah at St. Danger is an exercise in disinformation. Hello, I'm Nehemiah at St. Danger, and I'd like to speak to you about my record. The slow and painful birth of Nehemiah at St. Danger is an exercise in disinformation. That's all I got. So what exactly is an exercise in disorientation? Uh, that's disinformation. Oh, um, fine. It's okay. Um, what I set out to do was point out the very self-defeating mm. tendencies within the radically identified community. Mm. And by posturing myself as a whipping boy for stupid hippies uh, and all the evil that they bring into this world, uh, I have somewhat infiltrated a countercultural movement which its greatest goal is to burn out and die. And so your process, how does that play into uh, your conceptual tantamounting of the project? No, the, the question is how did the concept of the record influence your creative process? I, God damn it. It's all one big picture. It's tantamount. I'm not going to go without it. You just look at the fucking hippies, man. <sighs> all right, all right. Um, yeah. How did your uh, how did your concept play into the creative process? How did the <laughs> okay? Uh, Do I need to write it down? 
How did the concept of your record play into the creative process? You too, rhythm section. This is uncool. <laughs> You're doing a great job. But please, you can stop. Thanks. <laughs> How did the concept of your record play into the creative process? Well, I was thinking about how the radically identified individuals are subjugated by their own choice to poverty and to be ineffective, essentially, is the best way to be radical, to not pull off what your actual goal is, because putting so many self-defeating processes in front of the goal which you're trying to actualize. I wanted to use um, consumer grade hip hop production equipment to make a dad rock record, if you will. You know, something like the bastard child of Captain Beefheart, Todd Rundgren but uh, for the information age. I was successful in putting limitations in front of myself with that goal because it took me about seven years to make the record. It was like Mercury retrograde for seven years straight. Stuck in a vacuum of creative impotence. And I loved it, every moment of it. It's not unlike putting a chart in front of a jazz accompanist. You feed them certain parameters and they navigate those rules. The album is an archipelago. A different native population of robots populates each island. And uh, each song is a different island. Uh, no, it sounds a little bit more like a uh, robot mutiny, um, but flesh-based robots, which again echoes my process. <laughs> There you have it, folks. Perspective? Nehemiah St. Danger and his new album, The Slow and Painful Birth of Nehemiah St. Danger. Available on Nicholas Taplin's post-consumer records. Get the fuck off my law.
thanks, Olympia. I'm in you. And who the hell got me on this bill? I really appreciate it. We needed a show. Thank you. I got merch. You're welcome. Thanks, buddy. We'll talk later. Uh, <laughs>